One hot muggy day in the summer of 2007, I arrived in New Orleans and stopped by to see Mr. Getrich, but he was too tired to talk. He'd received a tax assessment for his house next door, a building the city had already demolished, and he'd just spent seven hours standing in line at City Hall trying to appeal. Here is how New Orleans City Hall works, post Katrina. We arrived at three in the afternoon. These folks had been sitting there since seven. The line went down one side of the hall and up the other. Around 4.30, an officer herded everyone into the auditorium. Okay, this is for Assessor Errol Williams' office only. Where half of them were told to leave because the meeting was only for people in certain wards. Okay. The 7th, 8th, and 9th wards, the so-called traditionally black areas of New Orleans. These are the faces of those who've remained. They live in neighborhoods called Holy Cross, Bywater, the Marigny, the Nine. They're men and women who work for a living at the kind of jobs that don't pay when you have to take all day off to stand in line at City Hall to fight a higher and tax increase. It, it, it was 105 degrees outside, and the pent-up frustration exploded. No, tell Aaron Williams to come down here and apologize because we lost the whole day work of pay because it was too big. Upstairs, I found three assessors working and dozens of people who'd arrived between 5 and 7 a.m. Why are you here? Why, not why am I here. I know why I'm here. Why are you leading people to believe that if you have all this stuff, it will expedite things. You will get seen quicker because you have your paperwork ready. You have everything you need for your appeal. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't seem to matter at all, whether you have your ID or mm -hmm. if you have... 40 copies and spent $20 on Which photos. Ward, which ward is your house in? I'm in the ninth ward. You're in the ninth ward. Wow. And <laughs> my house mm -hmm. appraised at 500% higher than it did the year before. Oh my God. In which they did a reappraisal last year. Uh -huh. That they did. So right. Why my house has gone up so, so much. Is right. is that, are you in the Holy Cross section? Or are you yeah. in I'm in the Bywater. Bywater. Property taxes in the city had been undervalued for years. Depending on when they had bought and who they knew, neighbors with similar homes paid very different amounts. Now, the effort to clean up government had hit at the same time as Katrina, leaving many reeling from the blow. What happened to your tax assessment? It went up like uh, nearly 500 percent. Is that something you're able to pay? Oh, not at all. No, matter of fact, uh, if I could sell my property for what they're saying it's assessed that I'll sell it today. How high did your assessment go up? Uh, hmm, from about 70000 to 252000 so so what, that, that, what does that mean for you in terms of the bill you have to pay? Well, it means that I'm living in a trailer and waiting to repair my house, so just give me a break. Have you gotten any road home money? Uh, no, I'm waiting on that. Hope that comes through. Hope that's better than this. <laughs> Thanks. Does that make the difference between your being able to stay and having to leave? Yes, it will. It will. You now we're going through a difficult time right now, but hopefully it'll get better. I got to keep hopeful. Yeah. All right. I hope it gets better. Thank you. Ultimately, the city council lowered the millage. The danger was too great that increased property taxes might drive homeowners into the suburbs. The city couldn't stand to lose any more residents.